Hello, it's Gavin again from Lucid Computer Solutions. Hope you're well. So this is a follow-up video to a previous video um, that I did. So please check the channel for that around the GeoBook 110, which I have here, which we'll take a look at in a second. But this is a follow-up video to it because some people have asked about it that um, in the original video I mentioned I'd, I'd bought it for a whopping £46 and that I had a particular task I wanted to use for it. And now, three months later, having used it, I thought it'd be good to do that follow-up video. So, yeah, just a very brief bit of context in case you haven't seen the original video. So I bought this GeoBook 110 as a refurbished, mint condition, um, mini laptop, because it's super small, and I paid... £46 for it. So, no matter what I say in this video, bear in mind it was £46. So, you shouldn't expect a lot quite clearly. And um, the idea for myself was I had a particular job I wanted this laptop to do, not one where I'll be using it for kind of my core day to day business and operations that I need. I need. Um, a much higher spec computer for none of that. I had a particular job I wanted it to do. So the very first thing I did was I did install um, Linux on it and I use Zorin for that because I use Zorin on a number of other computers. I'm, I'm familiar and I really like that flavor of Linux, so to speak. So I installed Zorin on it, which is on it, which is what's on it right now. It's not much to look at, but I think it might just wake up from sleep shortly. And yeah, I'm using Zorin on here. Um, the reason I went with Zorin on the computer rather than um, the pre-installed version of Windows is because Zorin, or any flavor of Linux for that matter, will run much quicker on such a low spec computer. It's super low spec, this laptop. Um, if you're interested in the specs, check the original video because I genuinely can't remember the specs off the top of my head, but it's 46 pounds. So there's not going to be any kind of specs to write home about here. Um, but yeah, I knew that would work really well. And Linux does work really well on it, as in, as you can see then I'm opening a lid. The login prompt is straight there. Yes, that's it waking up from sleep, but it's the same from a cold boot as well. It will boot up Linux um, much quicker than it would boot up Windows. And when you're actually using it, it is relatively snappy and quick and I say I'm using the words relatively because that's important given the super low spec of the computer but it does run it and it runs it perfectly fine for what I use it for so the question therefore is what do I use it for so all I wanted was a mini laptop to sit on the corner of my desk purely as like a messaging laptop so here at Lucid Computer Solutions uh, we use Slack, for example, and some of you out there might use Slack. You might also use Teams or some other messaging application to keep in contact with the rest of your team or department or whatever it may be. So we use Slack. We've used Slack for a very long time before Teams was even a thing. That's why we're still using Slack, because we're so deeply ingrained in it. So what I wanted was to be able to lift the lid um, respond to Slack messages, see what's going on. I also use it to check things like my WhatsApp messages as well via the web and uh, check my text messages off my phone via the web as well. So it's like a messaging laptop. That's all I want it for. I'm not doing anything like producing documents. I'm not doing anything like, not that you really honestly quite could. I'm not doing any kind of media production or anything like that because it won't work. I'm just using it for messaging. So I just need about three or four tabs open in a Chrome browser. And for that, it works really well. And without diverting too much away from, from the laptop, because that's what we're here to talk about today, is you might be thinking, well, why am I doing that on a separate laptop? So again, just to explain that, I suppose, it's because I've got my main desktop computer and Slack is great um, for staying in, contact with the rest of your team for responding to messages. But in my role and what I do here at Lucid, it can be great, but it also can be counterproductive for me. 
where if you're always available, um, you'll never get anything done. And this is a conversation for a different day and a completely different video. But the point is, I don't want Slack open all the time, or maybe not even at all on my main desktop computer. Now, there are times clearly I need to be available on Slack to help the team to respond to things. Um, but that's why I just want to lift the lid, respond because I'm ready to respond. I'm ready for their messages to come my way. I can respond and then I can close the lid again and forget about it again for a bit. And I know on my desktop computer, I could be trying to be disciplined with that and open Slack and then close Slack or open my messages and close my messages. But quite honestly, I'm not that disciplined. I'd rather just not have it open at all ever on my desktop PC. And I've just got a dedicated machine where I can lift the lid, do what I need to do, respond what I need to respond to at a time of my choosing and off I go. So hopefully that's some context. So back to the laptop to do that job, to lift the lid for it to be ready and usable and to have three or four Chrome tabs open, it is perfectly adequate. It's no problem at all. A 46 pound laptop really does do that job well. Um, somebody asked me in the previous video about this, about whether all of the hardware works properly in Linux. So slightly technical this one, but don't worry, stick with me. I'm not gonna get that techie. So the long and the short of it is, it all appears to be working part fine apart from the sound. I believe there's no sound output on the laptop. Well, there certainly isn't in Linux, put it like that. Now, first of all, that doesn't bother me at all because I don't need it to play sound. I'm not watching YouTube videos on it. I'm not doing video conferencing on it. So that doesn't bother me. I suspect this is a software thing to do with Linux and Zorin rather than the actual hardware. Now it could be the hardware, as in the speaker in it is broken. This was a refurbished laptop. I was assured it was fully checked and tested when it was sold to me, which I don't doubt. Um, and it does have a warranty on it anyway, but I'm just that busy and it, it does what I need it to do. So I'm not bothered that the sound doesn't work. Like I said, I strongly suspend, suspect it's a software thing and maybe I could spend some time and get to the bottom of it, but I just don't have the time and I'm not that bothered. I'm guessing another flavor of Linux, the sound works. I'm guessing the sound works on Windows. I don't know that for sure, but I'm just throwing that out there for everybody that on this with Zorin installed, the sound doesn't work. Maybe it needs something doing. So that's the only thing which, as far as I'm aware, doesn't work. But like I said, I'm, I'm just using it very simplistically. Um, it's good for really light use, as I said. This laptop would be good maybe for students. It is ultra portable. And if you just need a few tabs open, as in, uh, you know, like a Google Chrome tabs, and you don't need to do a lot else because everything's in the cloud, then it's a possibility for you. The battery life is also really good, given this is a refurb unit as well. I rarely have to charge it. Like I said, it spends most of its time in sleep mode, and then I pull the uh, lid and it wakes up. Battery itself lasts many, many hours off the top of my head, probably five hours of intensive use, and I still, I think that would last. Great for students who just need some internet access. I think it would be good for um, young children learning their first computer skills, for example. And I think it would be good for that. I think it'd be good in classrooms. Um, would I use it for day-to-day -day business? Like I said, no, it's 46 quid. It's not gonna do my day-to-day -day business stuff, but it has its place in certain scenarios. And like I said, I've got a certain scenario and for that, it is fine. So there we go. Three months, just over three months use of it. It's been great for me for what I wanted it for. So yes, you can buy a laptop for £46 and make good use of it for particular things. And that's what's key. It's not going to do everything. It's just not. Um, so yeah, there we go. I think I've rambled on long enough. Let's conclude the video. Uh, please do smash that like button for me. It takes two seconds for you to do. It doesn't cost you anything and it massively helps grow the channel. So please do smash that like button. Please do ask me any questions or post comments because I do read them and I do get back to people when I can. This video came about because of a question in the previous video. So I really do read them and respond to them. Please subscribe to the channel. 
help spread the word about us. And likewise, all the links are down below to connect with me on the various social media platforms other than YouTube. Right, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks again.